everyone, this is Kalpana here. In this video, we're going to solve the given differential equation. So, let's get going. Problem. Solve dy by dx plus y cos x equals to 1 by 2 sin 2x. Solution. Given differential equation. dy by dx. Plus y cos x equals to 1 by 2 sin 2x, right? Now consider the RHS part. We are having 1 by 2 sin 2x. Since we know that sin 2x equals to 2 sin x into cos x, right? Now replace this sin 2x by 2 sin x cos x and you'll get 2 sin x cos x by 2 then 2 2 gets cancelled and you get sin x cos x now replace 1 by 2 sin 2x by sin x cos x then this becomes dy by dx plus y cos x equals to sin x cos x this is the equation right so both equations are same Okay. okay, so we will consider the reduced one as our given differential equation. The given differential equation is dy by dx or you can consider this cos x plus, sorry, cos x, y cos x equals to 1 by 2 sin 2x. Then dy by dx plus y cos x equals to sin x cos x, right? Since 1 by 2 sin 2x is equals to sin x cos x, all right. This is in the form of linear equation in y, which is... Linear in y form or linear equation in y form. We know that the standard form of linear equation in y is dy by dx. Plus p into y equals to q. Here the quotient of dy by dx is 1, right? And also in our given equation, we have the quotient of dy by dx is 1. See this in dy by dx plus p, that is function of x into y equals to function of x q, right? So we can say that this equation or the given equation is in standard form of linear equation right now by comparing these two we will get p and q right where p equals to cos x and q equals to sin x cos x simply by comparing these two we we'll have p equals to cos x and q equals to sin x cos x Okay, fine. Now we need to find the integrating factor. Integrating factor of a linear equation in y is given by if equals to e power integral p dx. Now we can find Integrating factor to the given equation. If equals to e power integral p dx which is equals to e power integral for p cos x into dx. Since we know that integral cos x dx is sin x. So here our integrating factor is e power sin x. Therefore, 
integrating factor equals to e power sin x. Now we'll find the general solution. We know that the general solution of the given equation, that is linear equation, is given by the general solution of considered as 1, okay, linear equation is given by y into integrating factor equals to integral q into integrating factor into dx plus c. Now, using this formula of general solution, we'll find the general solution to the given equation, okay, y into integrating factor e power sin x equals to integral q for q equals to sin x cos x into integrating factor e power sin x into dx plus c right then y into e power sin x equals to integral sin x cos x e power sin x dx plus c. Okay, e power sin x into dx plus c. Since we know that derivative of sin x is cos x, right? Now let sin x equals to t. Let sin x equals to t. Now differentiate on both sides with respect to x. Then d by dx of sin x equals to d by dx of t. From this you will get derivative of sin x with respect to x is cos x equals to dt by dx. From this we will get cos x into dx equals to dt. So, we can replace cos x dx by dt and sin x by t. Okay? Is equals to then y into e power sin x equals to integral replace sin x by t. We will get t into cos x We'll uh, simply write the above as sin x into e power sin x into cos x into dx plus e for our convenience. Now it will be easy to replace sin x by t and cos x dx by dt. Okay. Now let's evaluate this integral. Okay. Integral sin x e power sin x into cos x dx is equal to integral Replace sin x by t and cos x dx by dt. Then you'll get t into e power t dt. Now, we can evaluate integral t e power t dt using Bernoulli's formula. Since we know that integral u dv equals to uv minus u dash v1 plus u double dash v2 minus u triple dash v3 plus so on. Right. Using eyelet, we'll choose the first function and second function. T comes first, right? No, sorry. A comes first. Algebraic comes first. So, our first function will be T. This is our first function. And first one, okay? And E comes last. Exponential comes last. So this will be our second function. So 
e power t will be our second function. Now, let u equals to t and e power t dt. dv equals to e power t dt. First, we will find the derivatives of u. u dash, first derivative of u is 1. Derivative of u dash is 0. Since u double dash is 0, we will neglect the terms from here. Okay. So, now we need to find b and b1. In order to find b, we will integrate it on both sides. Integral dv equals to integral e power t dt. From this we will get v equals to integral e power t dt is e power t. Right. Now we need to find v1. v1 equals to again integral v dv that is integral e power t dt which is equals to e power t. Right. So now we can apply the formula uv into sorry uv minus u dash v1. Okay is equals to integral u dv equals to uv that is t into e power t minus u dash v1 1 into e power t. Here is equals to t into e power t minus e power t. Now replace t by sin x. Then you get sin x into e power sin x minus e power sin x. Right? Or simply you can take e power sin x common from these two terms and you get e power sin x into sin x minus 1. Okay. Therefore, integral sin x e power sin x into cos x dx is e power sin x times sin x minus 1. Now coming to the general solution. This one. We get y into e power sin x equals to replace integral sin x e power sin x cos x dx by e power sin x times sin x minus 1 plus c. Now, take this e power sin x to RHS and you will get y equals to e power sin x into sin x minus 1 plus c by e power sin x. You are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator. So, we can split this into two terms that is e power sin x into sin x minus 1 by e power sin x plus c by e power sin x. Here e power sin x gets cancelled. Then y equals to sin x minus 1 plus c into, you can write c by e power sin x as c into 1 by e power sin x then y equals to sin x minus 1 plus c into you can write 1 by e power sin x as e power minus sin x which is the required general solution so we have seen a problem from linear equation in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.